Hello. Welcome, and thank you to family and friends who have traveled far and wide to witness and celebrate the marriage of Eric and Veronica. My name is Wayne, and I have had the pleasure of knowing Eric for nearly half of my life, and in the past four years, I have also had the pleasure of getting to know Veronica. I am deeply honored to be here today and to officiate for this very special occasion. Harry has spent at least three, four years, finally, he found the true love of life for him, that's Veronica. I think at 58 and having lived in three different continents, I'm a man of experience. And I like Eric the first time I saw him. His education level preceded him. And that probably biased me a little bit. But I found an extremely intelligent, sophisticated, handsome, big brain type of guy. A dream for every daughter or father. It was easy to look up to Eric. He was and still is an inspiring role model to me. He's so smart patient and humble, and unfairly the best at everything. I still remember the first time Veronica told me about the new boy she was dating. His name was Eric, he was a lawyer, and from the look in her eyes, I could tell that he was exceptionally special. But his ambition paid off. I still remember the day Eric got, into his, got his acceptance to Stanford. I had never seen him express such happiness before, so as an eight-year-old, I knew that it was really important. Likewise, I knew Veronica was special to him when he first told me about her. I couldn't wait to meet this thoughtful, inquisitive, and beautiful woman that made him smile. I saw this romantic, thoughtful side of Eric that I didn't know existed. He became adventurous and cool, something I didn't think possible. Veronica. You inspire me with your curiosity, your ambition, your spontaneity, and your passion for living life to the fullest. You are my teacher, my confidant, and my best friend. Eric, I choose you as the love of my life, my forever traveling companion, and my partner forever. I promise I will always be honest with you, patient, understanding, and forgiving. I cannot promise you that I will be, or can possibly be, the perfect man of your dreams or perfect husband. But I promise to live each day going forward to strive to be the man that you deserve. I promise to give you leg massages after your triathlon races. I promise to always support you even during life's ups and downs. I promise to always have your back and be there for you. Most of all, I promise to be a true and loyal friend to you. I cannot promise that I will never let make you cry, but I promise to be there always for you when you do, and to wipe away your tears. Eric, I love you. Wei Gong, wo aini. Eric, ti amo. this as of today you will begin happily marry for the rest of your life you got that <laughs> <laughs>